Hey Supercoders! Last lesson we learned how to create the layout for our app, or the way the app looks when you use it. This lesson will focus on the behind the scenes code that makes the app work. We're going to make some variables and learn how to interface with the layout elements, the button, edit text, and text view that we made last lesson. Keep in mind that the goal of our app is to have a user type their name into the edit text and when they press the button, a personalized greeting will show up. The first step is to declare variables for the three layout elements and link them to the XML file we created last video. You can do this the same way you create any variable. The type such as button, text view, and edit text instead of int or string. Let's do the button first. Open up your Java file and remember the ID you gave to your button last video. Add this code replacing button underscore ID with the unique ID of your button. For the text view, add this code replacing the ID again. Lastly, for the edit text, add this code. To do the next part of the code, we're going to need to understand what a listener is and how it works. Listeners in Java are objects that wait for some event before executing the code. The event could be something like a button click or the user changing the text box. Our listener is going to wait for the button we create to be clicked, and when it is, it'll run some code for us. A listener like this is called an on-click listener. Next video, you'll learn more about this. Bye, Bye Supercoders! Coders.